chemicals, bro. Shit will burn you to the bone. Great. I have to tell my kids no food tonight. Again. Me. Okay, sit down. Damn it! 
damn it! Ah, my neck's killing me. Oh, I was probably just a bee. More like a hornet. Don't be such a baby. Come on, this is fucking hurt. Dear listeners, you may find this strange, but to me, this is something very important. My daughter, Renata, is getting married in a week. She was supposed to get married over a year ago. She had invited over 200 guests. She was so happy. But then, you know, THV happened. We had to cancel everything. We were hoping that the GRE would get the situation under control, that the restrictions would be loosened over time. But as you can see, it's only gotten worse. Some of the overseas guests we invited, well, they're gone. In the end, we decided to hold the wedding with only those closest to us in attendance. It is very important to Renata and Waldeck that this happens. And for me, it's important to bake a cake for them. It has been a tradition in my family for generations. The mother bakes a wedding cake for her daughter. Unfortunately, a week ago, someone stole my hens. I realize that now most food, down to each small egg, is worth its weight in gold, but... If some kind soul were to share some eggs with us, I would be eternally grateful. Stay healthy, Daria. Hey, you're a better climber than one crazy girl I used to know. <laughs> she was something. She even wanted to climb the tallest building in the city, the VNC Tower. <laughs> was she one of your wives? Almost. Too hot-tempered, even for my tastes. And what about this passage to the center? Right. Look, from this roof you can clearly see the Peacekeeper's base. So the PK run the city? They sure think they do. That's what they need the uniforms and ranks for. They tattoo them. They're fucking obsessed with hierarchy. <laughs> but they don't control the city. At least not all of it. Who controls the rest? The Colonel. The Renegades. Oh, you won't meet them here. For now. Wait, you brought me here to take a look at the Peacekeepers? The PK are your ticket to the center. I told you the only way to get there is through the metro tunnels. I'll go inside and draw their attention away from the platform. Then you enter the Metro Technical Station. There's an airlock there. We'll take it together to the central loop. We can't just ask them to let me through? No chance. Right now, each new face they see belongs to a suspect in their commander's murder. They know me. I trade with them sometimes. I deliver lamps from the girls, or goods from dark zones. There might be a few infected there. Nothing a pilgrim can't handle, though. When you get to the main station, let me know. Now you better get some sleep. You'll head out at night, when there's less infected in the tunnels. Probably a bolter. You can find some interesting stuff on them. 
But catching one requires serious hunting skills. Now is not the best time for this, Aiden. Head for the tunnels.
in the tunnel. Okay. Now watch out for the infected. There might be a few, or a few dozen. I'm already in the PK base. I'll throw a UV flare through the vent, and you'll see how to get to the main station.
Hack on. I got to the flare. Look around. The technical tunnel to the main station should be well lit. I've already lured the guards upstairs. I'll check them up when you get inside. Inside. Five packs. Think about it, and I'll be right back.
doing here? Where did he come from? He was wandering through the tunnels. Fucking bizarre riffraff. More like a renegade spy. Hmm. Doesn't look like a renegade. <clears throat> He's awake. What were you doing at our base? I'm only trying to get to the city center. The center? <laughs> the tunnel's gonna be closed until you hand over Lucas's killers. Bizarre scum. How is it that you lot saw nothing, heard nothing, and you managed to forget about the ban on passage? Maybe we'll start punishing you by cutting off your hands. That would improve your memory, huh? What were you doing four days ago? I'm a pilgrim. Four days ago, I was a hundred kilometers away. Enough, Anderson. We need the truth, and you won't get it through coercion. But Commander Lucas, Lucas always Lucas is said... dead, and now I'm in command. You've read the reports. A pilgrim appeared in the bazaar yesterday. It looks like he's not lying. Leave us, Sergeant. I want to talk to him alone. you come from? From Crossdale River. That's over 1,500 kilometers from here. It's actually more than 2,000. The freeway bridge has collapsed. There are no straight paths. And you've managed to make it so far away. Impressive. What's it like out there these days? When was the last time you were out of the city? About 15 years ago. And there were that many fewer survivors. And that many more infected. Stands to reason. Most people endure living in this hellhole because what's out there has got to be so much worse. My wife and I lived in England. I had two sisters, two brothers. I haven't heard from them for 10 years. Where did they live? In and around London. From what I've been told, London doesn't exist. There may be four settlements left on the entire island. Fucking hell. Why would anyone think I killed your commander? You tried to escape to the central loop four days after the murder. And besides, if I were Carl, I'd hire a stranger to kill Lucas too. It's the cleanest way. Well, I don't know who Carl is. Oh, you'll find out soon enough. Carl keeps both hands on the steering wheel. He's a faux sanctimonious prick who's turning the entire bazaar against us, even though we protect them. What's it like outside the walls? You never know where danger's gonna come from. Always new territories, new threats. And you came here to take shelter? I came here because I'm looking for someone. And a lot of people are said to have survived in Villador. You're looking for someone. Hmm, maybe I can help you, but not for free. I'm used to trading. What do you need? No nonsense. That's good. The tunnel will be closed until I find our commander's murderer, Commander Lucas. His body was found in the bazaar, horribly mutilated. The people of the bazaar aren't making this easy. They're proud and loyal. They refuse to turn anyone in. But Command has lost its patience. I have orders from the top, Pilgrim. If the inhabitants of Old Villador continue to revolt, our army will come here and burn the bazaar to the ground. Now, I'd rather avoid that. What do you need from me? Lucas had a weapon. A rare set of brass knuckles called the Lazarus. This is the key to finding the killer. If you learn anything about the Lazarus, tell me and I will most certainly return the favor. It's worth a lot, 
and we didn't find it on his body. I think someone from the bazaar may have appropriated it. And why should I work with you? You attacked me and accused me of murder with no proof whatsoever. Our mistake. You're clearly not the murderer. Why can't you investigate on your own? I hardly know anyone here. That's exactly why you can help me. Nobody will talk to us. To them, we're occupiers. The fact that we clear the streets of the infected and catch criminals doesn't matter. What matters is that we eat their food and drink their water. But you, you're a pilgrim. There are many ways you can help people. And you're from the outside. They can trust you. They tried to kill me. Nah, look, we are your only chance. If you want to get to the center, that is. So, will you help me? So if I find that weapon, you'll let me through to the center? It's not that easy. Vilador suffered much. First, it was isolated from the outside world because of infection. Then the walls became its salvation. But people here learned not to trust easily. I won't open the passage until I've caught the killer. But if you can find the Lazarus, I'll remember that. You'll be the first one through once justice is done. Sounds as if I have no other choice. I'll try. Look around, ask people, and don't come back empty-handed. Good luck. I haven't seen a uniform like yours before. I'm a carrier. A carrier? What's that? I belong to the Carrier's Guild. I'm one of many. If there are so many of you, why haven't I seen your uniform before? We're discreet. We're entrusted with valuable information, and therefore keep a low profile. Now your profile isn't so low right now. Indeed. Our headquarters are located in the center. And the only passage right now goes through the subway tunnels. The peacekeepers control the passage and aren't letting anyone in or out of the center right now. Until they do, I'm stranded. That sucks, especially since I'm in need of some information. I can't help you. We have a strict code of confidentiality. Only our guild master would be authorized to share information. And then he's the one I should talk to. Any other ways I can get into the center? Not that I'm aware of. On the surface, the border of the center is a no-man's land. It was devastated in a chemical attack, cutting this district off from the center. The air and ground are poison. Only the most freakish of monsters can survive there. Damn. Well, I'll have to find a way. Somehow. Good luck. Hey, Hakon. Are you there? Hey there, buddy. Cool, you're alive. Yeah, I got caught and questioned. Good. They didn't kill you. Meet me outside. Hey, man. Where could I get some food? In the canteen. We have a canteen and a hospital at our base. Like in the army. Not like in the army. This is the army. We're bringing order to this fucking chaos. And who are you? I'm a courier. I travel between the zones. Pilgrim. You got it. And it takes balls to wander off-road like that. I need to get myself a new weapon in the armory. This one's worn out. 
Good day, citizen. Medicine and poison. What's that all about? I'm contemplating a bold new direction in distilled arts, but sadly, I'm not able to serve you right now. Wait, distilled arts? Serve me? Yes, I'm a bartender, and not only am I looking to revive the lost art of mixology, but I plan on reinventing it. How so? Through the infusion of special herbs and booze, not only to make it taste great, but to give it healing properties. So, what's the problem? You see, the wrong amount of even the finest ingredients could be the difference between creating a refreshing healing cocktail and deadly poison. Only one person can help me achieve the right results, and they say she is a witch. Well, how can a witch help you become a better bartender? A mixologist, and she's not a witch, really, but a healer. The superstitious call her a witch. Ah, uh, so she makes potions and such. Indeed, and only she possesses the knowledge of combining ingredients properly to ensure I'm not poisoning my new customers. A carrier told me that this woman uses the guts of infected in her potions. Can you believe that? Not really. But you can see how it would be easy to create a deadly poison as a healing potion, right? So this so-called witch lives somewhere in the city? In the central loop, where the buildings reach the sky. Behind the bank, I hear. Yeah, naturally. Where else would you find a witch if not behind a bank? How droll. Anyhow, I need her expertise to reinvent mixology. With her knowledge of herbs and my bartending skills, everyone will want to come and drink my cocktails. Don't think you'll have to try too hard to convince people to drink booze. Oh, but you see, this won't be just any common hooch. Each will be a handcrafted work of alcoholic art. Well, when you put it that way, I'll keep an eye out for her if I make it into the city center. I would be eternally in your debt, and the first drink would be on the house. Of course, I'll need my own bar, but I don't want to work for someone else. Maybe you could scout some prime locations for me, too? Without infected in them, of course. Who wants to come to a bar full of infected?